A Scarborough politician is making history after deciding to wear a religious symbol while on the job. This spring, Liberal MP Salma Zahid became the first woman to wear hijab on Parliament Hill. But tonight, after being subjected to criticism online, the newly dubbed trailblazer is speaking out, saying she never set out to break barriers because the choice was a very personal one related to her health. This year, as we celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Canadian Multiculturalism Act, let's take this time to reaffirm our commitment to the diversity that makes Canada strong. When Salma Zahid addressed Parliament this past May, it was the first time she'd ever done so while wearing a hijab in her three years since being elected. When I made the statement uh, in the House of Commons, so I think it was the first uh, woman in a hijab, uh, first member of Parliament in a hijab to make a statement in from the floor of the House of Commons. Her new look is a noticeable change from the smiling headshots without a religious headscarf that still sit proudly in her office. Sometimes at a first look, people don't recognize me. That's fine when they say, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't uh, recognize you. I'm the same person. It's the same Salma Zahid. While she says the reaction has been mostly positive, her hijab has garnered some negative attention, including that of right-wing commentator Ezra Levant, who retweeted photos from a recent appearance questioning why she would wear a hijab to a veterans event. I never thought that, that this will be a reaction, uh, like people will be upset about it or people will be worried because it's the way I look, it's my choice, like it should be left to me. It should not have been the situation that I had to explain why I'm wearing a hijab. But Zahid did explain that her choice was never about taking a political stance or making a religious statement, but instead had everything to do with her health. She tweeted today, for all those who are asking, I've chosen to wear a headscarf for now while I recover from the effects of my cancer treatment and chemotherapy. It was a uh, non-Hodgkin lymphoma, B-cell diffused double hit. That was the exact diagnosis. When you are like facing like uh, that sort of uh, illness, naturally uh, you get more closer to your faith. Explaining this, it's a bit of an awkward situation. Yeah, it's very it personal. Is, it's very personal. It appears Levant has deleted his original tweet, but he did write another. This one saying Zahid says she's recovering from cancer treatment and is wearing the hijab for that reason. That's a good reason. She also supports hijabs for Islamist reasons. That's not a good reason. I'm wearing it for medical purposes, but I will stand for those women who want to wear it. I'm a strong believer that diversity is the great strength of Canada. It is not a barrier. So everyone should have the right what they wear. No one should be able to impose things on people. Zahid is now in remission and back to work on the Hill after a two months sick leave. She says while her appearance has changed, what stayed the same is her commitment to the community that elected her in 2015. The way I look, it doesn't matter. It's what I do for the community and how we work uh, for a better future. And Zahid says she never planned to make a public statement about her hijab, but because of the high-profile tweets, she felt it had to be addressed.